Welcome to WP Forms, the best WordPress contact form plugin on the market. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up and use Google's reCAPTCHA. Adding a CAPTCHA to your forms is a great way of drastically cutting down the number of spam submissions you may receive. And Google's reCAPTCHA technology is one of the best known versions of it. With that said, let's get to it. To get started, go to the settings page in WP Forms and click on the CAPTCHA tab. Here you'll see four different options. HCAPTCHA, reCAPTCHA, turnstile, and none. When you click on the reCAPTCHA option, you'll see a yellow text box giving you some information about the three different types of reCAPTCHA offered by Google. V2 checkbox reCAPTCHA is one you've probably seen a lot, where a user needs to check a box to prove that they're in fact human before proceeding. V2 invisible reCAPTCHA is one that runs in the background and is not visible on the front end to users. V3 reCAPTCHA also runs in the background, but it uses a scoring system to detect abuse traffic and lets you decide a minimum passing score before it'll block a user. This option's recommended for advanced users only or if you're using Google AMP. Below the banner will be a few settings. First, select the type of reCAPTCHA you want to use for your forms. Once you do, you'll need to set up the reCAPTCHA in your Google account to generate the site key and a secret key. To start this setup process, Open a new tab and go to Google's reCAPTCHA Admin Console. You can find a link to the Admin Console in the video description below. On the Google reCAPTCHA page, we're first going to register our website by using the following fields. In the Label field, enter any name that will help you identify this site in the Admin Console. This name will only be visible to you. Next, select the reCAPTCHA type. Finally, enter the URL where you'll be using this reCAPTCHA. When writing the URL, don't include the http colon forward slash www portion of the URL. When you're done, click the Submit button. After registering your site, the next page will contain both the site key and secret key. Copy each one and go back to your WordPress site to paste each key into its respective field. The setting below called Fail Message is the error message that will be displayed to any user that doesn't pass the reCAPTCHA verification test. If you select reCAPTCHA v3, you'll see the score threshold setting. If a user's score is less than or equal to the number you enter in this box, then their form submission will be blocked. Below that setting is a toggle called No Conflict Mode. Sometimes reCAPTCHA can be loaded more than once on your site. This is usually because either another plugin or your WordPress theme has reCAPTCHA built in and is loading it at the same time as the reCAPTCHA you set up in WP Forms. Unfortunately, this can cause some problems and prevent it from working correctly. Enabling no conflict mode will remove any reCAPTCHA code that isn't being loaded by WP Forms. If you need any extra help on deciding whether or not to enable this function, be sure to contact our support team. The preview section is only for those who selected checkbox reCAPTCHA v2. If everything was configured correctly, you'll see a preview of what the reCAPTCHA checkbox will look like on your site. When you're done, Click on the Save Settings button. The next steps are for those who are running Google AMP on their site, so for those who aren't, you can skip to the next section. If you are running Google AMP on your site, you'll need to tab back to the Google reCAPTCHA Admin Console to make an extra adjustment to your setup to make sure it's compatible with AMP. Keep in mind that you would have needed to select reCAPTCHA v3 when registering your site. Click on the Go To Settings link below the reCAPTCHA keys, and the following page will show you some additional settings at the bottom. Check the box labeled, allow this key to work with AMP pages, and when you're done, click on the Save button. Now that our keys have been added to our WordPress site, we can go into the Form Builder and either click on the reCAPTCHA field under the Standard Fields section to enable it. Alternatively, you can click on the Settings tab on the left, go to Spam Protection and Security, and click on the toggle that enables whatever version of reCAPTCHA you set up. Once this is done, you should see a reCAPTCHA badge on the top right corner of the form builder, letting you know that Google reCAPTCHA is enabled. And that's all there is to it. You now know how to set up and use Google's reCAPTCHA on your WordPress site. If you have any questions or concerns, please visit wpforms.com and check out our documentation page, where you can find step-by-step -step written guides for all of our features, add-ons, and more. You can also join our WP Forms VIP Circle Group on Facebook to learn even more tips and tricks, as well as be part of the growing WP Forms community. If you need any extra technical help, please visit our contact page and reach out to our support team.